Hey guys, welcome back to Terraform tutorial series. As part of this demonstration, I'll show you usage of Terraform templates. For instance, let's say we have to create a policy for S3 put operation and we're going to have three different flavors. Otherwise, we're going to have three different policy documents for three different environments like dev staging and production so everything remains same except the bucket name in the document rather creating three different uh, static files i can have one template file and from that i can dynamically generate three different outputs containing three different bucket names for different environments now let's take an example of iam policy here let's take iam policy effect is allowed and the service is amazon s3 okay and the actions let me take put object put object and coming to arm i need to point to a specific s3 bucket let's take a sample amazon resource name there so add statement this is our final policy document in this document what is going to change is bucket name for uh, different environments now what i do is i will create new file Which is a JSON file. Okay, I will keep this policy document. As I mentioned earlier, I want to have three different documents with three different bucket names: one for dev, one for staging, and other one is for uh, production. So one way of achieving this one is to maintain three policy documents that's one approach it will become difficult when you have duplicate files with small changes the better approach is to use terraform template this one i will make it a template i will put a variable here later on i will use this as a source and i'll pass my own value to that variable such that I will get a different output by passing different variables. Alright. I have taken the hard coded bucket name. Then I am using a variable in the file. Let's see how to use this as a source and generate policy documents by changing the bucket name for dev, staging and production. Let's create a file. A Terraform file there. It's of type data. Template underscore file is the type of data source we are using here. This takes source as a template file provide the file path s3 hyphen iam hyphen policy dot json so i'm using template file I'm pointing to the template file there. This template file has one variable.
to that template file i will pass variables using variables block variable name inside template file is bucket underscore name at runtime i will pass this value to the template now i want to show you the output of uh, this specific code this must have a logical name data dot dot rendered execute this code and check because uh, i am using data source i need to initialize it first now let's execute terraform apply and see there my template right is replaced with the value i am passing in there what i can do is this one instead of hard coding i can get it from a variable like uh, where dot bucket name re-execute the code and check it now let's say i am applying my code in production i am overriding my variable bucket name to prod earlier it was dev now i will override that to prod and see what's happening there right so we have a template we are using same template and changing the bucket name dynamically at runtime that's the scenario for using terraform templates thanks for watching